Toxicology reports show a Forsyth County mother was high and drunk when she died at a house party. Her best friend says that still doesn't tell the whole story. This is a picture of the mom. It is a case that is getting international attention. Channel 2's Mike Pachenik is live at the sheriff's office. And Mike, that friend believe what's in the autopsy report could support what the family thinks happened. Well, Javita, investigators here at the sheriff's office believe Tamela Hosford fell over a balcony to her death. We first told you yesterday how her father believes she might have been dead before her body went over that balcony because some of the injuries on her body seem to suggest that. And they say the autopsy we got a copy of today supports that theory. It's video you've only seen on Channel 2 Action News. Tamela Hosford clearly enjoying herself last November at an adult birthday slumber party at this Forsyth County home. The next morning, after what investigators say was a night of drinking, partygoers found the mother of five dead. I'm guessing maybe she fell off the balcony. Sheriff's investigators have closed the case and say there's no sign of foul play. We filed an open records request with the GBI and Thursday got a copy of the state autopsy report on which detectives based their findings. It says Hosford had, quote, blunt force injuries to her head, neck, torso, and extremities, including a broken neck and dislocated wrist. The pathologist concluded her injuries were consistent with a fall and the result of an accident. The GBI toxicology report says Hosford's blood alcohol level at the time of her death was 0.23. That's nearly three times the legal limit to drive in Georgia. The screen also found traces of marijuana and Xanax in her system. So she wasn't intoxicated to the point of falling off of a deck. We spoke by phone Thursday to Hosford's best friend, Michelle Graves. And still, if she was that drunk, and they say that they left her out on the balcony alone. Why would you leave somebody that is so intoxicated? Why would you have left her alone? Did you not check on her? Like, how did she get over onto the deck? Like, how did she get over a four foot railing on a deck? Within the last two hours, we got a new statement from the homeowner who hosted that party through her attorney that says, quote, in part, our clients are completely innocent of any wrongdoing. They have not had a chance to grieve the death of Mrs. Hosford either. Our clients were friends with Mrs. Hosford too. This accident is heartbreaking that a mother of five lost her life too early and that her children have to grow up without a mother. Reporting live in Forsyth County, Mike Pachenik, Channel 2 Action News. And Mike, we know that this happened back in November. Many people are asking, what about her husband? Is there nothing that he wants to come forward to say about his wife or what happened that night? Well, I can tell you this, Jovita. My understanding is that he has had to go to work every day. He's supporting five children at home. Uh, we went to the house a couple of times. I've met with her father and her aunt. They tell me that they're working with an attorney down in Florida. We know that the attorney has reached out to the sheriff to have a meeting to go over that case file, and they really don't want to make any public statements if they can until they've had a chance to go through the uh, documents that were released. Jovita? All right, so this story certainly to be continued. Mike, thank you.